Carol Marock at carolmarock.com. Welcome to my, my YouTube channel, Solo and Smart, where I offer achievable tips for individuals growing older while living solo. And I'm continuing the conversation around long-term care. Uh, I'm going to start delving into the care cost since I haven't talked about that uh, over the last few videos. But I found an interesting study that was produced by Nationwide Insurance uh, back in March of 2021, this year. So it's a recent study. And I find it very interesting because they talked about long-term care. And primarily, they interviewed, uh, in this study, they interviewed millennials, Gen Xers, as well as Boomers Plus, and talked about long-term care costs. Now, in this particular discussion, uh, it talks about the people discuss, you know, LTC or long-term care costs with anyone. Have they talked with anyone about long-term care costs? Unfortunately, it's not a very uh, interesting topic to discuss. However, I believe it's a very important one for all of us. So the stats came in for this discussion or this uh, statistic, and it asked, how, how, who have you talked with about long-term care costs, if you have spoken to anyone at all? And the millennials, 27% of them have discussed it with their parents, 12% of Gen Xers with their parents, and of course only 4% of boomers uh, with their parents, which makes total sense. Uh, however, the, uh, the largest uh, factor uh, was actually they have discussed it with my spouse, and that was Gen Xers. 32% uh, of the Gen Xers discussed uh, long-term care costs with their spouse. And 20% uh, of boomers discussed it with their spouse. And then it continues, as you can see, go down you know, with their friends. A few have discussed long-term care costs with friends, their children which I found very interesting because only 13% of the boomers discussed long-term care costs with their children. I would have expected a higher number there. Uh, and it, with my doctor, again, a very few have discussed uh, long-term care costs, which doesn't really surprise me. Because, uh, especially for boomers, uh, they discuss uh, some parts of long-term care, such as health, selecting a health care proxy, advanced care directives, things of that nature with their doctor, because that is part of the Medicare wellness checkup. But as you can see, with health insurance broker or employer or even financial professional professionals or maybe other family caregivers, the percentage, as you can see, as you go to the right, really decreases. And I find that very interesting. So the top people that most individuals discuss long-term care, probably any parts of long-term care, are with their spouse their parents, and perhaps with children. Uh, the next uh, slide I thought was pretty interesting, and that is 27% uh, of the millennials have not, are not even planning for these costs yet. Uh, well, that's not really too surprising, actually. But what is, is that 32% of the boomers are not planning for long-term care costs as of yet, which is uh, the time is slipping away, and it's really Im Im imperative that we do start thinking about who will take care of us, how will we be taken care of, and how will we pay for that care. And uh, the question being, uh, is it 
Do you think uh, you need to plan for these costs? And 15% of millennials say no, and 17% of boomers say no as well, which, again, that's kind of high for boomers, I think. And then I am planning for these costs but haven't talked to anyone yet. 10% of millennials have, 9% of uh, Gen Xers and 13% of boomers do plan to talk about long-term care with someone in the future. Well, if you are part of that boomer segment, 13%, um, I highly encourage you to start planning now. Well, that's it for today. I just wanted to share those statistics with you. I think they're very interesting. It was produced by Nationwide Insurance, and it was released March 2021. Well, thank you for visiting. Circle back in the next two days while, you know, where I'll have more tips for you. Please share this video with a friend and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.